The Honda CRV has been with us in its current form for a while now, and seemingly conscious of this, Honda have had a fiddle with the styling and created a pair of special editions. Dubbed the Black Edition and, as we have here, the White Edition, the new look starts with a colour-coded front grille with a bit of a honeycomb pattern, plus a colour-matched fake skid plate on the front bumper. From the side, there's a funky set of 19-inch alloy wheels, as well as a rather neat set of running boards. Around the back, there are more changes that seem to take their inspiration from the Star Wars Stormtrooper, starting with a colour-matched roof spoiler, another fake skid plate, and an almost obscenely large exhaust finisher. The interior is largely business as usual, and that's a good thing because that means you get some of the most comfortable seats in the business, plus a fine selection of quality materials. Equipment levels are based on the SET grade, but with a few choice additions, such as the dual zone climate control, front and rear parking sensors, and power folding door mirrors. The instruments are just as clear and elegant as before, complete with an outer ring that glows green when you drive economically. Both models also get Honda's navigation system as standard, and although it feels a little clunky at times, it does provide decent audio facilities including audio over Bluetooth, as well as a respectable navigation system that now includes full UK postcodes. Our favourite CRV practicalities remain, such as the door bins with extra cubby holes, a large compartment under the armrest and by the handbrake, and a sunglasses holder that doubles as a mirror so you can keep an eye on what's going on in the back seat. Speaking of which, whoever sits back here will feel spoilt by the amount of space on offer and particularly notable is the flat floor that leaves plenty of space for passengers' feet. If you need space for other things, folding the rear seats couldn't be easier. Pull a lever in the boot and the headrest tucks in, the seat base flips up and the seat backs fold forward, all in one automatic movement. The boot is still huge with 589 litres on offer and there's still room for a space saver spare wheel underneath the floor. There's also a dedicated space to store the cargo cover when it's not in use, plus a good number of hooks and tie downs. Drop the rear seats and boot capacity grows to 1,648 litres, making the CRV one of the most practical family SUVs on the market. The black and white edition models are available with a choice of either a 2 litre petrol engine or this, the 2.2 litre diesel. Both have similar amounts of power, 153 versus 148 horsepower, although the diesel has much more torque with 350 newton meters versus the petrol's 192. That makes the diesel half a second faster on the sprint to 62 miles an hour, but it's also more economical and cheaper to tax. On the road, it's pretty pokey too, and of the two engines, it's definitely the one to go for, in our opinion. Honda knows a thing or two about crafting a decent gearbox, and the six-speed manual of our test car benefits not only from a slick shift action, but also a well-chosen set of ratios. Every other aspect of the CRV performs just as well as we've come to expect, so that means a comfortable ride, willing if not exactly exciting handling, and a healthy dollop of refinement. The larger 19-inch wheels of the two special editions do have an impact on the CRV's road manners though. There's perhaps a touch more road noise and a little less compliance in the overall setup thanks to the tyre's lower profile. There's also an increased tendency to tramline over changes of camber, but since the new wheels look so good, this quite frankly is a price we'd be more than willing to pay. The diesel's government economy figure of 50.4 mpg isn't far off the mark, and we recorded an average of 45 mpg on our test route. The petrol, meanwhile, has a government figure of 38.2. The diesel boasts a lower CO2 figure too, with 149 grams per kilometre placing it in band F, while the petrol's 173 means it has to make do with band H. Where the diesel does lose out though is on price. The petrol white edition is priced at £28,405, while the diesel commands a £2,105 premium at £30,510. Bear in mind though that both models are four-wheel driver standard, and neither are exactly left wanting for kit, with cruise control, reversing camera, automatic lights and wipers, and a whole bunch of other goodies all fitted as standard. We've always liked the Honda CRV. it's incredibly practical, filled with neat touches and comes from a company with a strong engineering background. It's just that now it comes with a little extra style too.